Hey, it's Scott Orner, Cruise Consulting, and today I'm answering the question, are term sheets legally binding? And it's a little bit of a gray zone. There are some aspects of it, like the confidentiality portion, that are technically legally binding, although, you know, sometimes you hear people spilling the beans on something, even despite that. But the way I kind of like to think about it is it's more reputationally binding. And what I mean by that is if you sign a term sheet with a venture capitalist or a venture capitalist signs a term sheet with you, you should have every intention of going forward with that deal. If not, if you're the kind of person who's pulling out of a lot of deals, if you're a VC or if you're a founder who repeatedly pulls out of uh, term sheets with investors, the word is going to get around and venture capitalists don't like that. Founders don't like it because the spirit is you agreed on the terms, you signed the term sheet. And now we need the final documentation, like the stock purchase agreement, investor rights agreement, you know, updating the articles of incorporation, all that kind of stuff um, to be done. And you don't want to have retrades or things like that. You don't like the, the VCs who do retrades or try to renegotiate towards the end of a deal process. They just get a bad reputation. That makes it a lot harder to do business. You may, you may be tempted. Maybe you uncover something in due diligence, which is justifiable to do a retrade, but if it's a big thing, but the most of you kind of have to, especially in the startup world, this is what I like about it is your reputation means everything. If you're the kind of person that's going around retrading or trying to change things up, um, right at the last minute, when you have someone in a weaker position, that's going to really hurt your reputation. So it may not be legally binding. Like that's why you do all these other official documents and update the incorporation, and all that stuff. But it's reputationally binding. So don't sign a term sheet you're not serious about. Don't sign a term sheet that you don't want to close on. Um, and remember, when you sign a term sheet, you're on the clock. You're, the other party is putting all of their effort and good intentions behind it. And if they find out that you are bailing on them or have some ulterior motive, it can create a lot of hurt feelings and potentially negative business ramifications down, down the road. So be ju judicious and only sign something if you fully intend to go forward with it. Hope that helps. Hit us up at cruiseconsulting.com if you have questions. That, that's it. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.